Jack Temchin talks about the Eagles and negative press. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. I shared a story with Jack Temchin, who wrote or co-wrote five Eagles songs, about my conversation with Randy Meisner. We'll put links to that conversation. It's on this channel in the description of this video. Randy had told me, and I was telling this to Jack, Randy had told me that he had taken a swing at Glenn Fry. I mean, his songwriting partner, Jack's songwriting partner, during his last tour with the Eagles, which was Hotel California. But looking back, Randy was almost melancholy and had a sense of forgiveness almost and just wanted to make peace with, with everyone. And at that time, Glenn Fry was alive when, when Randy Meisner told me that. I told both Randy Meisner and Jack Temption that I had gone through phases of being a very negative writer when I was writing about rock and roll in the beginning and being very much like TMZ, but wanting to stay away from that. Yeah, it's popular to hate the big the guys who make it. And, uh, and then to create all this, it's almost like it just, your life becomes fodder for, uh, not, your life becomes stories for a movie. In the movie, this, there's always a scene in the movie where the star goes too far and takes too many drugs and falls off the stage. And, you know, whenever I see that, I just want to turn it off. And what they always leave out, I mean, they concentrate on the stories like that, but what they leave out, they never capture appropriately, is the greatness the work that these people do, you know, the incredible time spanning greatness, because they can't put that in the movie or in the stories, you know, and then so they go, oh, well, Einstein didn't treat his wife right, or, you know what I mean, and you're going, hey, yeah. man, you're, you're missing the, the point, you know, and, and then they judge people by standards that, that weren't there, and I think you're right to avoid all that drama whenever possible, you know, because those stories get repeated and repeated, and you know, they're, they're not really to the point. So I just wanted to say that. Jack Temption and the Eagles came to prominence in the early 70s at an interesting time where the 70s were still chiming a little bit of that 60s vibe. Yeah, well, the 60s really lasted until the mid-70s at least. Yeah, the vibe kept changing, you know. And then after, you know, after another decade or so, suddenly the folk era changed into the folk rock era, which became huge rock that was a big business, then it moved into disco for a while, you know, so there was all these, it keeps changing all the time, and it never really did get back to the folk part, but uh, it's like these things, it just, just happens. I'm really happy that I feel like I'm still creative. I, I'm in love with the creating it part. I guess for a lot of people, they kind of burn out on that, and just do the thing they did over and over, but uh, I'm just thrilled to still have something that really uh, gets me off, which is like writing new stuff. We'll have more of our conversation with Jack coming up next week. Go to his website, jacktemption.com. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm -hmm.